All right, welcome to another vintage review, guys. As you can see, another Reebok box from late 90s, early 2000s. Um, as you know, I'm all, uh, always on the lookout on eBay to find a, a perfect pair in my size that I can wear, that I can grab on a decent price, and this is another steal for me. I was able to grab this pair for around $30, so absolute steal. Um, and I'm very excited to show you this one, guys, uh, so stay with me. I'm going to try to be quick and not waste too much of your time, but for those of you that stick around and are interested, thank you very much, and here we go. So as you can see, a little bit of a different Reebok box. These came um, out of Reebok um, probably around very late of 90s and early 2000s to about mid-2000s. Uh, they kind of have the sort of uh, Reebok blue on the cover and black with, with the Reebok writing all around. Uh, nice pull out hole and blue on this side with Reebok and this is the label as you can see. It's the interval and white classic navy and platinum and of course my size eight and a half and wh whoever purchased that pair back in the day you can see how much money they paid. Regular price was 70 they paid 56 and it's a running model man right there so let me go ahead and open it and talk to you guys i'm gonna pull the sneakers out real quick and just talk to you about the the, the box and how informative uh, it was for back in the day uh, just one second let me see if i can uh, show it okay so hopefully the camera will uh, focus on that you can see they put they put on a uh, shoe care instructions inside of the box for different materials which is absolutely amazing and let me take that paper out so maybe you guys can read it well and of course the obligatory uh, silica gel um, sort of um, moisture absorbing packs and this is the inside here on the lid itself we have the measurements of the box and on this side very interestingly um, and this is a silica gel again I think there's two, yep, two of them uh, I hope you can see that right there it says 3M Scotch Light, the sticker um, so this is a clear indication that uh, back in the day um, and of course Reebok and many other brands actually used an actual 3M not what people call today 3M which is just a reflective material it has nothing to do with 3M nothing to do with Scotch Light which is a, a 3M and Scotch Light their reflective material is uh, of course branded it's uh, part of their the company and of course today uh, it costs a little bit more so companies just use any reflective material that imitates the 3M uh, reflective material but this pair and many others around that time feature actual 3M material so uh, enough with the box let me put the paper inside and talk to you about the sneakers real quick um, let me see if there's anything in the bottom yep as you can see 1997 right here Reebok International uh, and the vector logo right there so uh, like I said late 90s around 97 98 uh, I still remember this pair like today because uh, one of my best friends brother actually bought this pair um, in a little bit of different uh, colorway I remember the one that had a yellow accents um, and it was super comfortable I remember him getting it he was so excited about it and wore that, that pair to the ground uh, Reebok always made great great runners uh, back in the day especially and these were part of it um, around that time Reebok were kinda uh, doing this design team with the big giant um, vector logos and they can be noticed on a lot of their uh, wear, a lot of their gear, uh, bags, jumpsuits, truck suits, they, they had these oversized huge vector logos and same transition over to uh, the running uh, gear as well as you can see this runner, uh, the logo is just absolutely humongous uh, but this is kind of a part of the, the um, charm of this pair uh, and you know again 97, 98 this pair is uh, what now it's almost 17 18 years old and it's perfectly preserved uh, runners age very well especially Reebok runners uh, the EVA used uh, it's very uh, interesting it's not cracking it's not giving away it's not crumbling or anything like that uh, also the upper being predominantly mesh and of course some leather accents uh, they always stay 
uh, uh, very very well preserved uh, compared to new book and other synthetic uh, well synthetic new book and other materials used but uh, in in kind of a general rule the white based upper sneakers will age better because of the use of the material they, they, they implemented back in the day uh, and this is that 3M I was uh, talking about it's right here on a toe box and of course right here on a hill you know being a runner 3M was very well uh, implemented and used back in the day uh, for those uh, um, that wanted to run outside when it was a little bit dark or at dusk. Uh, so, what did uh, this shoe feature? Um, first of all, amazing lacing, as you can see, very thick uh, rope laces uh, or round laces that are very, very nice. Uh, padding is just absolutely plush and amazing. As uh, you can see, the ton is uh, all mesh with the vector logo right there. Uh, very thick. So kind of a white and gray inside of uh, as you can see even the the sticker from back in the day right there over the uh, the insole it says up uh, uppers made of non made made materials uh, this was very common to see and some some models even today have that um, the insoles I'm gonna pull the the one from the other one maybe or, or this one actually why not why not this one Let me get the paper out real quick from the toe box. So the insole is very similar, if not identical, to what we see today uh, from all the retros. Very well uh, built art support, uh, very uh, nice and, and thick with the, of course, the Reebok Vector logo right there. Um, so absolutely uh, lovely and very comfortable insole. Uh, so let me show you the tag on the ton real quick as well. There you can see US size eight and a half, made in China. Uh, kind of hard to read the dates of uh, the old Reeboks, but I, if I if I can speculate, it's 2007 um, of, of Octo October of 2007. Um, and what else I can show you about this sticker? So. Uh, the still on the lateral side, we notice the the big um, giant vector logo and the 3M. Uh, they have this uh, bungee lacing system right here on the front, and then three holes right on top. Uh, by the way, this blue uh, underlays they're leather as well, and we have Reebok Vector and the Vector logo here on the hill. Uh, kind of very nicely placed uh, right on this portion. I I like that a lot. Uh, the midsole is still very um, cushiony, very responsive, uh, and you can see this runner's lip right here on a, a heel towards the lateral side. Of course, the full tab is very nice, um, and of course, the 3M. So, in uh, and the medial side, uh, this gray portion, I've talked about that before in other pairs, but I will, I will tell you again, um, this is... Uh, a dual density or higher density EVA used on this side that actually prevents your foot for shifting inwards or towards the medial side when you run, when you walk. Um, some people have terrible problem with that. Um, I'm one of those that actually um, prefer this setup because my foot actually shifts uh, medial towards the medial side. Not, not that bad, not as bad I've seen in other people. But at the same time, I prefer that, and it provides me a great comfort and, and kind of structures my foot back into place where it's supposed to be. Um, and this is the view from the top down. Very nice uh, and soft tall box, very ventilated with that uh, mesh, and of course, the ton as well. Uh, very soft padding inside. Um, very comfortable, actually. I put them on feet, a perfect, perfect fit for me. You know, eight and a half back in the day was just a perfect, perfect fit for me. And now, to the... Uh, most uh, anticipated and most most exciting for me at least uh, uh, part of this shoe is the outsole of course look at this outsole great absolutely preserved in this absolutely amazing and huge ultra hexalite right here and you can see this is probably the clearest um, window of hexalite I have in all my vintage pairs um, and you can see hexalite burning right here but the ultra hexalite is just huge compared to the normal one. Very thick, um, height-wise cells, uh, very wide. Uh, they're probably double the size of the normal hexalite. And as you can see, I'm going to try to give you a better perspective. And this is how real hexalite looks like. The actual hexagonal cells are empty, full with air or other gas. And 
the walls around them actually exactly mimic the um, hexagonal cells of uh, the uh, beehives. So I put them on, super comfortable, just exactly like I remember them. They feel like uh, like the original Zoom. For those of you that are more familiar with Nike products, uh, this is how the Zoom felt. Very responsive, very uh, cushiony, and uh, these are absolutely amazing of this way. Um, same goes with this one. The the window is very clear, as you can see. You can uh, you can uh, you can peek that ultra light inside, and how cushiony and, and responsive it is. Uh, perfectly preserved pair, no oxidation, uh, no deterioration or anything. Uh, uh, I'm assuming they were uh, kept in a very good condition, uh, and they are they're almost pristine in my in my humble opinion. I like them a lot. Uh, a pair that uh, you can can come by very often. Uh, you know, when I see something like that, I always jump in it. Uh, even if it was more expensive, I would have gotten it. But thirty dollars for this pair, uh, it was absolute steal for me. And um, yeah, I just I just had to grab it, and I, I love it so much. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you again for all of your support. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Stay tuned to the channel. Um, there's a lot more exciting things coming up. And if you like the video, of course, hit the thumbs up. And you guys, as always, you have a wonderful day.